This is Nick with Rhino Tool Company, and we're going to be removing the chuck lock and chuck tube system, as well as the lower body. You will need a quarter inch by six inch head spit socket, a scraper, impact, a rubber mallet or dead blow hammer, and a gasket removal material. First, you'll remove your chuck lock nut, which is a toolless design. The Ranch Pro model has a pin and clip system. You'll want to remove any adapters that you have in the system. Using the quarter inch hex bit socket, you'll remove the chuck bolt chuck. You will inspect the inside for any wear. Using the same quarter inch hex pick socket, you will remove the inside bolts that are holding the lower body to the main body. On the Ranch Pro and Fence Pro models, there is no gasket holding the lower body to the upper body, and they will most likely come right apart. On the Multi Pro model, you will want to use a dead blow hammer and lightly tap on the multi pro models the bolts holding the chuck tube and the lower body have a two-piece locking washer and you'll want to make sure they are retained with the bolts for later installation once the lower body section is removed you can remove the gasket using the scraper You'll want to remove the O-ring, inspect it for any wear, rips, or tears. And at this time, you can use your gasket remover material, making sure to cover both surfaces interior-wise and spray a light coat around there to help remove the gasket. Using the master chuck tube, you'll place the lower body assembly on it so that way the sleeve is located down. Now you'll remove the adhesive material from both sides from the gasket. You'll place one side down, making sure to line up the holes and that the gasket is square. Removing the second side of the adhesive backing you will take the sleeve o-ring, lightly lubricate it, and place it around the sleeve. Pushing it down so that the gasket adhesive material holds it in place. To begin install of the lower body to the main body on your gas powered post driver, you will need all the tools from removal as well as a torque wrench capable of 251 inch pounds, Loctite 7649 primer N, Loctite 243 thread locker. Your first step will be to prime the holes. Clean off your surface, as well as prime the bolts using your quarter inch by six inch hex bit socket. You will install one of the lower body bolts. Add your thread locker. The lower body, you will want to make sure that the sleeve o-ring is still seated around the gasket. You will also want to place thread locker into the bolt holes. all the bolts hand snug, we'll then move on to your torque wrench, 
set to 251 inch pounds. If your lower body bolts are stainless, they will be 132 inch pounds. You'll start in the upper right hand corner. And you will make a star pattern down at the lower left hand corner, furthest away from your start point. You'll then move over to the lower right hand corner. And finish up on the upper left hand corner. For the Multi Pro model, you will have to install the master chuck. You will prime all four bolt holes cleaning your surface, as well as your bolts. You will add Loctite 243 thread locker to all four bolts. For the master chuck on the Multi-Pro model, you will only Loctite the bolts as the threaded inserts on the lower body are a through bolt and do not need Loctite. Refer to our Loctite primer video for the proper procedure. Once all bolts on the master chuck are hand tight, you will use the torque wrench and torque to 251 inch pounds. They're black oxide bolts, 132 inch pounds if they're stainless bolts. Making sure that you are torquing them in a star pattern. At this time, you can replace any adapters that were in the system and install the chuck lock nut. And that will conclude the installation of the lower body on the Multi-Pro gas-powered post driver.